today's world of high-speed connection, text messaging, and social networking, we often find ourselves searching for information. There are millions of blogs on the internet, news, sports, politics, and tech, but I bring it all together for you and present it in a relentlessly unconventional fashion. My name is Zinni Abraham, and this is The Blog Report. It's time now for sports. Hi, everybody. Here is the NFL's official statement regarding the Golden Tate, quote, touchdown catch, unquote, to end the Monday night football game between the Green Bay Packers and the Seattle Seahawks. As I read it, I'm going to run the video showing the catch or no catch, however you want to call it, in the end zone. Here goes. All right. In Monday's game between the Green Bay Packers and Seattle Seahawks, Seattle faced a fourth and ten from the Green Bay 24 with eight seconds remaining in the game. Seattle quarterback Russell Wilson threw a pass into the end zone. Several players, including Seattle wide receiver Golden Tate and Green Bay safety M.D. Jennings, jumped into the air in an attempt to catch the ball. While the ball is in the air, Tate can be seen shoving Green Bay cornerback Sam Shields to the ground. This should have been a penalty for offensive pass interference, which would have ended the game. It was not called and is not reviewable an instant replay. When the players hit the ground in the end zone, the officials determined that both Tate and Jennings had possession of the ball. The Under the rule for simultaneous catch, the ball belongs to Tate, the offensive player. The result of the play was a touchdown. Replay official Howard Slavin stopped the game for an instant replay review. The aspects of the play that were reviewable included if the ball hit the ground and who had possession of the ball. In the end zone, a ruling of a simultaneous catch is reviewable. That is not the case in the field of play, only in the end zone. Referee Wayne Elliott determined that no indisputable visual evidence existed to overturn the call on the field. And as a result, the on-field ruling of touchdown stood. The NFL officiating department reviewed the video today, and supports the decision not to overturn the on-field ruling following the instant replay review. The result of the game is final, and that is the NFL's official statement. So it says, on the one hand, that the refs blew it. It should have been an offensive pass interference call, which would have ended the game, because the game can end on a penalty against the offense, but not the defense. But then they turned around and said, okay, well, since that wasn't called, everything else they did was correct, which is still disputable because there are people who say, hey, wait a minute, Golden Tate didn't catch the ball. But I have seen in the past similar instances where the National Football League gave the ball to the offense, even when it looked like the defender had more of the ball than the offender. Oh, boy. <laughs> 